we are going to do step seven of Autocrat, which is setting up a condition to say that Autocrat will run in one condition but not run in the other. So for this example, I'm taking our um, feedback unit uh, example from uh, the last few videos that I did where students select which unit they finished and answered some self-reflection questions. I'm going to set this up with a manual trigger, so I'm going to review student answers ahead of time, and then I'll decide whether or not they have earned the certificate that's going to be set out to them. And the certificate just looks like this and says they completed the unit. I only want to send that out if I'm happy with their responses. And so um, what I'm going to do is set up step seven to say, okay, it, you're only going to run on the ones that I say you're going to run on and the other ones I'm going to communicate with that student that I want them to resubmit um, a more complete or more robust answer. So let's dig in. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, before I even start Autocrat running, right, because it's going to generate some columns, I'm going to make a column that says pass. Okay, and this will be whether they pass this particular um, assessment or not, whether I want them to pass uh, or whether they've done enough work to do so. So now I'm going to launch Autocrat and I'm going to run through how I set this up. So if you're bored, there's a thing down in the, um, well, there should be a chapter so you can just skip ahead past this part if this is not something that's interesting to you because we've done this a few times now, right? But it doesn't hurt to see it again. So next, I'm choosing template. It's given the tags. You'll notice it's popped me over to the groups tab over here, uh, which is not where I want it to be, but it's picked form responses one, which is good. So name, because it is exactly the same as the tag, has auto populated, which is still so fun. What unit did you finish? Date maps to timestamp tag. I think that was my image. I hope so. And so I'm going to make sure that's an image. Hopefully that'll work. We'll see. It's like 50 50 on those things. I'm going to call it by unit and then a space and then the student's name and then the timestamp or let's just do today. That makes more sense. Uh, and I'm going to leave it as a Google Slides because then I can edit it after the fact if I need to. Uh, that's weird. The last time I did this, it knew what folder I wanted it to be in. Right. Yeah, that's it. Oh, but I can't choose it from there. Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, folks. All right. I'm going to skip this one. That's like haven't quite mastered this one yet, but hopefully I'll have a video on it soon. Now, step seven. This is where we're at, setting a merge condition. I'm going to go ahead and set a condition, and I want it to look at a particular timestamp, or sorry, a particular column. The column I want it to look at is pass. Um, if there was just one question that you were interested in, you could have this automatically set up so that, okay, as long as there is something in that column, it's going to run and generate the spreadsheet. I want to go through manually and say whether they pass or not. So down here, my only options are a specific value, okay, null, meaning the cell is empty, or not null, meaning it's not empty. So I'm going to have it set up as not null, and I'm just going to write pass in the ones that pass, or yes, or anything. It's not going to matter what I type in there. If I have a typo, it's not going to throw a wrench in the system. Um, if it's null, if you have it set up so it's empty, you would have to put something in the columns that you don't want to run, and it would only run if that particular column was empty, which doesn't make a lot of sense for this. You could also have it set to a specific value. Um, the specific value one is kind of interesting because you could set up multiple jobs, um, multiple autocrat jobs, and each of them could be tied to a different trigger word. Um, so that's actually kind of interesting. I might play around with an example for that. I'm getting kind of tired of it though, so maybe I won't. Okay, so that's um, what we're going to do there. I'm going to go ahead and say next. 
Uh, I'm leaving this not shared this time, so make sure you have an email set up. And I'm going to leave it on a manual trigger. So we're done and we can save. So let's say now I'm going to go in here and say everyone passed cells. Um, but only the first human body was good. And the last kinetic energy one. So I've written something, and again, it doesn't have to be pass, it can be anything, or um, it doesn't matter what I write in there as long as there's something in that field. And now when we run Autocraft, I'm a little upset it said launch. It's making me a little nervous. It always makes me a little nervous. This might take a second, but we'll, we'll bear with it. So it should, now that I'm going to click run, just run for the things that have um, a, any text in that column. So you can see it's generated those four columns over there like it always does. And let's see if it's doing a good job. It says that six documents are going to be merged. And sure enough, I have six columns here. So as it goes through, it's going to populate these um, first five. It should skip those two, and then it should also make one for yuppers down there. Um, like I said, this is kind of cool. You could send um, different certificates based on what students choose. Um, you could, I, I like it for manually running, and I can just enter something if I want it to, um, want it to populate or not. Um, I don't have this tied to an email but you absolutely can still set up email triggers and have it run automatically. Um, if you have it run automatically, it needs to be off of a specific column. Okay, and so you'll see it did what I wanted it to do. I don't know whether they look good or not. Let's find out. I tweaked it so that I have the seal there and the little image in front of it. And so that's, that's it. That's how you do uh, step seven on Autocrat. Good luck.